Oh. Wasn't that fun? What? I don't know what I'm doing that. I don't know what I'm doing that, man. The ketchup bottle. What would the world of electric guitars look like if the strat just I don't had know, never man. been a thing? I don't know. It's iconic. It's super it's iconic. iconic. And it's almost as old as you now, Lee, isn't it? It's, it's almost as old as yeah. me. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't... I and me, for that matter. I think it has shaped every single one of my favourite... Eric Clapton, David Gilmore, Jimi Hendrix. Generations. Uh, not just one even generation. Even now, John Frusciante. I know he's not John new, Mayer. John Mayer. Yeah. It's just, it's just an iconic instrument. Look at that it as well. The just, sound. Just look at it. I know. It's, it's, I mean, the Telecaster was perfect. And then you think, can you improve perfection? And then he comes along and he makes this. And you go, what the, what's I going on in somebody's head like him that is not a guitar player, yeah. blind and deaf? Uh, you know what I mean? Who's just an a engineer? I think, I think the Telecaster has functionality in spades and the Strat has sex appeal. It's like the Telecaster is a tool to do a job. The Stratocaster <sighs> is uh, the just... Yeah, I th I, I'm not going to... I disagree with you. It's just a beautiful, beautiful looking piece of rock and roll history. But we need to do the anyway. Telly versus a Strat video. And we need to do that because yes. if, I know it's sexy, but if, you, if you're sexy enough to play a telecast, you don't have to be play a Strat, <laughs> right? And why are we talking about it, Mr. Pete? <laughs> well, because it's the 70th anniversary of the, of the Stratocaster. The which 70th is, anniversary. 70 years. So yeah, 1954. Can you imagine? I mean, I just, it still freaks me out that, you know, if you, if you were, I mean, I suppose I in fairness, you'd have probably been born during the Second World War or something like that. And you're a teenage kid. All of it, your mum and dad, are, you know, have probably grown up listening to Glenn Miller and they're sort of, you know, frowning down at this new Elvis Presley, Buddy Holly rock and roll thing yeah. that's coming out. And, and then the cars, all, everything changed, man. Yeah. The cars changed, like, you know, micro, kit, all the kit, everything changed. The, uh, yeah. The and then this, I think, and then this just came this in. This just is just like yes, appeared. I want. Uh, anyway, as Pete said, it's the 70th anniversary, and yeah. Fender are making a big deal of this, right from player series, which we've got a couple yeah. of, right through to custom shop, and right through even to master built custom shop. Yeah, uh, we have got a selection of some of the guitars that. Um, are probably going to be a bit more available this year. So again, we've got Player, we've got American Pro 2, and we've got American Vintage. Dude, I've just um, seen this on here. Sorry, it's completely... Well, they've nailed that, man. What we also have wow. here, he says, looking around... It's... it's oh, it's here. Sorry. Is... And again, this makes me feel old now. So in 2004, when they did the 50th anniversary of this, yeah. I did buy a custom shop 50th anniversary uh, Strat. This is a uh, master built. This is a Yuri. Well, they never really had a, that wasn't ever really no, a no, no, thing back in those no. days. But yeah, it's a Yuri Shishkov um, 54 Strat. Now, interestingly, again, the big uh, deal they made on that was they, they said, this will be the last time we use the <laughs> original tooling for the pickup covers and the knobs and maybe the switch tip, but certainly the pickup covers and, and the knobs. So I'm just talking plastic here, right? I'm not getting into how they're working. That's different. Uh, yeah, and I think what you can see now is that the one that Pete's holding, albeit it's not custom shop. This is the vintage. They've obviously retooled on, on this. So they're similar, but not completely identical. Uh, but yeah, so the smaller. Anyway. Have you seen the, 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 the ring around this? The, they're smaller. Yeah. So they, the knobs are smaller. Yeah. The tip is smaller. Yeah. I feel right at home here. <laughs> <laughs> so we might have a little play on, on my guitar just to and sort of this, compare. And this is what I just saw. Sorry to interrupt there because I saw this bit, right, which is they've round, rounded that off like it was. One thing they didn't get right. So people discuss out there in the, in the judgment of, of the comment section. Is this correct or is that correct from that era? Well, I would almost would this certainly is. assume that the 50th anniversary one was correct. So what are you saying? That the, the strap button is slightly further around? Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's just a drunk Yuri Shishka <laughs> that's just drilled it in. Yeah, the once. vodka going. And Let's hope not. <laughs> Zaz! Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, anyway. it's, it's a wonderful guitar, so let, obviously. Let's it's start with beautiful. Player, because Player is ultimately okay, what, is what most starting? of us are going to be able to afford. So, okay. So there's uh, one here in the middle. You've got one in the middle. I've got a maple neck one over here. Yep. Um, Two-tone sunburst, of course, is the original 50s color. So I think you're going to see the bulk of these in that beautiful two-tone. Um, if you're sitting there going, what does that mean? What's the difference between two-tone and three-tone? So two-tone was where they were... Um, 
Isn't that the Essentially rap group? A, a brown, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. To dubbed the tub tone. Um, the the centre bit of the burst is is a is a see through kind of brown stain, and then they splayed like a black burst around the outside of it. Is it black or a very dark brown? Yeah. I think it's black. This is that, um, and this... then three tone sunburst. Good spot, Pete. Three tone was something they developed in the '60s, where you started to see that sort of red uh, color introduced mm -hmm. in between the black and the and yeah. the brown stain. But yeah, two tone is. I mean, if you think of the, the Clapton's early strats and Buddy Holly strats and things like that, they yeah. were all that classic kind of two-tone. Uh, would have absolutely only ever have been Maple Neck because yeah. Rosewood didn't come till uh, much later in this the 1950s. Still. Pal Ferro. Pal Ferro you know. still. I thought they were going to start using some Rosewood by now, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, Pal Ferro's an interesting one, isn't it? The, the Pal Ferro was the material that they moved to when Rosewood originally yeah. went to CITES. A lot of people at the time said, oh, that's cool, because that's always what Stevie Ray Vaughan had on his strat. And then some people said, oh, no, I, I, you know, I want to stick with Rosewood. Yeah. But you're right, some of the... It's a bit uh, more hairy. Rosewood is making a comeback. Yeah. Uh, but that, as you say, that's Pal Ferro. It's a bit more hairy um, to the feel. Right, so specs before we hear it are an older body that's uh, authentic. Uh, urethane, gloss urethane finish, so again, not nitro, but obviously a That's more modern finish. For the money. Uh, we talked about the two-tone sunburst. We've got maple neck with your choice of pal ferro or maple fingerboards. Yeah. Satin urethane finish, yeah, so again, uh, the original ones would have Ooh. all had the, the, the gloss lacquer on it. Player series has a satin finish on the back. Modern C, so again, it's a slimmer neck than a 54 would be nine and a half inch radius so again it's a slightly flatter radius so it's very much a, a sort of a ev everything on this is basically player apart from the <laughs> logo in the back yeah. there, I think uh, it's... what have they done pickups wise no yes yeah, so it's, it's player so this is basic case okay, so player series is is literally a player strat <laughs> exactly. in two-tone sunburst with, those logo with, with a little logo on the back yeah. so fair enough um, they could have made it a little, a little badge they normally put on uh, for the 60s and the 50s and the 40s. You know you're going to get people that have got all of those in their collection 100%. and they want to buy a new one and 100%. you know they sh you should do because well, they're great. Let, let's have a little listen at what a player Strat sounds like okay. even though we have probably know already. <laughs> it sounds like a Strat man. Yeah. I'm, I'm into the, uh, the deputy today. You know what it sounds like? Strat. <laughs> Here's the position four. I wouldn't expect anything less no. of. I feel like we need a bit more reverb on that. Maybe. One. Maybe not. Uh, here's the middle position. A very underrated position, the middle position. I mean, if they played it wrong. <laughs> it's a nice chord, though. It's a nice chord. Position two. Slightly thin, maybe. Again, I'm not even you know what I mean. And back. We got a bit of game. Can really we quick. can we have oh, the maple that's... neck one? Because obviously the maple neck one will sound identical. Um... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, it probably will sound identical now. <laughs> uh, okay, so we put maple now. <laughs> sound exactly the same, Lee. Uh, <laughs> careful. Uh, let's try some Dane. Oh, 
It sounds like a strat, man. You know, it's it, it's a player strat. Yeah, it I sounds mean, and feels like a player strat. Let's move on because, yes. to be fair, I think the the, the 70th anniversary player is player. really just. Um, you know, there's no massive reason to rush out and add this to your collection unless you're just a fan either of the colour or you just like having the 70th thing because it's basically just a normal yeah, player yeah. strap. So if you're not a fan of the colour, there's lots of colours to go with. You know what you, I would do with this and what I have done, in fact, is my other... Sorry, dude. This, I'll just let you into my little obsession for Eric Clapton and two-tone samba oh, strat. This shit. is something you can do. If I had my Squire Classic Vibe two-tone samba strat here, I would show you that as well. This is my American uh, standard. So it's how old is this? I can tell from the serial number, can't I? This was uh, 2001. And I have Eric Claptonified it. So as you can see... If <laughs> you, uh, could you zoom right in? You can just see I've put the piece of wood in the uh, between the trem block and the and the body, so the trem system can't move. Uh, I've put the uh, mid boost circuit in here. I've put some noiseless pickups in, yeah. um, and I've basically strung it with tens. And, and again, this is my sort of Clapton nod to Clapton Strat. A hundred percent, you could do something like that with this guitar and, and end up looking with a with a, a very sort of effective Clapton-y yeah, kind of that's vibe what they're good as for, well. They? What, what is that that costs? Can you buy those sets? Oh, I they're you like could 50 buy quid, yeah. the mid-boost set. The, yeah, yeah. the only thing I said is the mid-boost set Fit it in is there. noisy. It's 20 dB of mid-boost, basically. So it, 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 if you've got a little bit of gain on the amplifier anyway, it just accentuates that. So I, um, like Clapton always uses, or he always used the mm. um, lace sensor pickups, didn't yeah. he? And, and more sensor. recently, the Fender noiseless ones. So I've got, my Squire's got a set of noiseless um, Seymour Duncans mm -hmm. in it. And my Fender has a set of Fender noiseless pickups in them. Well, it's great. You know what? I've I heard he yeah. uses lace underwear as well. He does yeah. lace sensor underwears. I agree. <laughs> uh, so you're there behind you. you are... well. Oh, that's why I did the first Jamaroo on, isn't it? Yeah. Just... Okay. Uh, next one up in the range is we're into American Pro Two. Pro Two. Now, little bit confusing here. A little bit. Um, there is one official 70th anniversary American Pro 2 strap, which is the flame top one that Pete's holding up there. And we're going to have a listen to that in a second, talk about the specs in a second. There is also uh, what they have done for 2024 is the normal American Pro 2, so that you won't see anything on here to suggest it's like a limited edition 70th anniversary thing. But the colour is what's called anniversary two-tone sunburst. All right, so, so I, I'm, if I'm honest with you, probably not the clearest use of words there, Fender, to sort of, you know, so two-tone sunburst is not normally available on American Pro 2, but they've added it in for the 70th anniversary and they've yeah. called it anniversary two-tone sunburst. Yeah. But other than that, it's exactly the same guitar as a normal Pro 2. Yeah. However, the um, flame top one that Pete yeah. has got has got some differences. Yeah, um, and a different case as well. Yes. yes. Uh, so let's hear it and then we'll talk about the specs. Right, let's have a listen to this, uh, Lee. See what that sounds like. Here is the neck position. Much more sound. <laughs> it's much more sound. Yeah, it's louder, than, isn't oh, it? Oh, I see. It's about two hours since we... A, I can hear a hint of a seven and a hint and of an O. I can never... <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of th going on there. Sounds nice, man. The place nice. Good. It's um, a slightly different satin finish from that one, but I mean, with a blindfold on, I wouldn't be able you to tell. You mean the different difference. to the player? Yeah. Not different to the. No, um, the player. Yeah. Because uh, it's, yeah. it's satin, right? It's only on that. Beyond it in, any yeah. position where the neck isn't it's already not, engaged, so it should be one, two, and three. Yeah. That sounds good, man. That's, that's beautiful, that's melancholy. Yeah, I cry a salty tear. <laughs> uh.
Position two. And back position. Oh, no. And that's when I can bring my neck pick up it. In any of these positions. Which is quite handy. I like it. Uh, I like it good. a lot. Should we do a little bit of a quick, quick game? Yes. Strat, you know, like a like like a just like a vintage thing. Really, I do. What in what sense? I don't know. It's just it's just it's too too modern for me. You know what I mean? The whole thing is a bit too modern. I prefer well, that's something that's a little bit. Um, for courses, isn't it is. It? I mean, it, they're all strats, and they all sound like a strat. Let's just hold this up and talk about what is going to be slightly different yeah. to yeah, 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 a normal yeah. uh, American yes. Pro Two. So starting from the top, you have to look at the back. You can see one comes with locking tuners, that's the fancy 70th anniversary one, and the other comes with regular tuners. Uh -huh. uh, now we're going all the way down to the body, it's basically the same, and then we have a little slightly different pair of underpants on the yeah. uh, 70th anniversary one. So the one with the flame top is going to have the uh, 70th neck plate, uh, the this is just non the 70th anniversary ones will just say the same as all the other American yeah. Pro 2 uh, guitars. Yeah. Back to the front, you can see the most obvious thing is uh, you have a flame top option yes. with, uh, not option, but flame top. Yeah, that's uh, and what a you get. tortoiseshell guard, which is very nice, or a fake tortoiseshell guard. Of course, no actual tortoises were harmed in the making of this strat. <laughs> um, is it a 120-year-old Galapagos turtle? Just <laughs> quickly get him! He's just trying to run away. Imagine <laughs> that. I could see the guitar industry doing that. Just going, yes, we killed the last Galapagos giant tortoise just to make uh, got George, some sort of tone George pickup <laughs> cover out of it. Um, yeah, can use it though. If you if you buy if you buy you know they used to you make combs and mirrors yes. and stuff out of it. If you buy it before pre seventy or sixty nine or something, yeah. you can buy those things and make them into. That's it. Pitch yes, your or, honour. He was definitely dead before nineteen sixty nine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't run that turtle over with my car. Um, I shouldn't laugh. In the Florida swamps. Don't kill. They're turtles or tortoises. Don't I don't know. Anyway. They're massive tortoise. tortoise. Right. And finally, uh, the pickups on the uh, flame top one are called seventieth. V mod two pickups, yeah. whereas on the these ones they're it's just called V mod twos, and uh, <laughs> you will have to go and read the description below uh, for exactly what the difference is between the two, because at this stage we don't know. No. Um, Fender haven't told us. No. So there we are. Uh, it's Seventy we move years on? old. Yeah, let's do that. Now before Pete plays the OG, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, and we perhaps compare it to my. Uh, I like this. Anniversary I like this. One. This is my favorite. Uh, there is one more for all of you lovers of contemporary uh, Stratocasters out there. You'll know that the Ultra Fender Ultra Strat is like uh, uh, has been really, really popular. Great guitar. I really like it. Not sure about him, but I really like it. No, I like it. I like it he a likes lot. That. Yeah, I like that. Uh, anyway, it's a great color uh, on that guitar as part of the 70th lineup, which you're going to see on screen now. Um, and good again, yeah. go over to the website, check. There are the odd specification on these guitars that are slightly different to the regular ones, but we haven't tried that yet, so I don't know. Let's go for it. All right, so mm. that's your favorite one, right? This is my favorite one. <sighs> this is my favorite You're one. Such a sucker for old things. I, yes, especially the uh, <laughs> women I date. <laughs> so this is the 70th anniversary American Vintage 2 54 Strat. Yeah. Um, stuff about it that's cool and obviously different to everything else we've tried here. Two-piece ash body. Two-piece ash. ash. 
Uh, nitro finish now, obviously on the neck and the body. Yes, you can feel um, the nitro. You can feel it on the neck. It gets that stickiness on it. Yeah, and it, I love uh, it. A set of 1954 uh, single coil pickups, so wound to be authentic to that uh, 54 sound. Um, I think I was mentioning before, and again, I don't know if Fender have done this, but obviously, again, the, the sort of the plastic pieces. If you look on a normal modern strap, there are. Have a look at the You've basically here. got like a. The pickup cover is has a sort of a, a right angled sort of edge. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the pickup covers on the 54, it's a rolled edge, and the knobs are slightly Sm different, smaller, I think, aren't they? They've got a small uh, foot to them, if you will, and the, the, the tip is different. Uh, Obviously, mm. it's got the, the sort of the vintage trem and the vintage uh, tuners. Yeah. Uh, it also comes with uh, a yeah. very nice, well, I say very nice. Um, you've obviously got to wire this in comes if you with want a it. Cable. So, yeah, a very sort of like 1950s type guitar cable. Um, the, the pickup switch on the guitar is a three way switch, which is what uh -huh. it would have been in 54. Sorry, I'm um, trying to get into the box. In the little package that Pete's got, you've got. Um, another pickup switch now why do i have that i hear you say well that's because the one that's on the guitar is a three-way one which is what would have been uh, fitted originally in 54 yeah i love them change it to a five-way um there is that that nice um cover that goes over the uh, trem system which i kind of you rarely <laughs> rarely ever see a player actually playing with this on no. but it, it was something that came on vintage uh, straps and on the and, and tellies, as well yeah. it just clicks over here um and then finally uh, you have a back plate a neck plate sorry that so that the, the neck plate that's on it is like it would have been in the in the 50s so it's a plain neck plate yeah. but you do get a 70th anniversary one as well as yeah. a jolly nice case so tweed on the outside but on the inside it's got the 70th it's like uh, me. Embroidery. <laughs> <laughs> you tweed on the outside. Um, I'm tweed on the inside. I mean, yeah, three-way selector switch is always an interesting thing. I wonder who went, who went uh, like this, and then instead of going to the middle position, just went right there in the middle. I remember doing that on the well, tracks you know of my, my parents, friends, and whatever. What blew me, oh, what blew sound. my mind when, and I forget which video it was that we were doing this in, mm. but we must have been doing some sort of history of the Strat thing. Yeah. That officially, the three-way switch didn't change to a five-way switch until the 80s. Yeah. Which is nuts, right? Yeah, I remember. You, you don't... You toothpick just, in there, man. Don't yeah. remember putting a toothpick in there. And so you had lots of toothpicks, yeah. put it in there and break it off. And then you yeah. could set it to there or you can set it... Because I remember two is because the spring pulls it down that way, so it's a bit more difficult yeah. to set it to... There we go. It's oh, such it's a, a good sound. It's lovely. I wonder what the thought behind having only three way selector switches, and have you ever thought, Leo? Well, that, actually, because that that's a thing? Do you know that's a good shout because the Telecaster always had three three uh, way. Well, but the Telecaster always had a way of having two pickups together. So, like, why would? Yeah. Why did it take and, 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 so and long? It, and, to it go? and it works. Yeah. So that's a great oh, it's question. A, it's a great. What, what, why didn't you just? Why didn't you go in the first place? Oh, hang on. There's something. Maybe he doesn't even notice. <laughs> is that that's the, that's the uh, it's, if it's you get really, like um. Don't you think It's really odd. 
I feel like wow. the 54 Strat or the early 50 Strats are sort of not criticized maybe is the wrong word but they have a reputation for being a bit ice picky and that the, the 60s yeah. ones kind of resolved that and got a bit sort of warmer and fatter yeah but i don't i just hear classic strat rubbish i just, I oh, just, I wonder, I just hear a Let's great see. sound correct yeah, so it's the correct, correct old wiring. vintage wiring, yeah. vi wiring. <laughs> What am I? German. Uh, <laughs> and also, Noel, if you're Ex watching... Explain the, explain the wiring to... Uh, sorry, uh, Noel, uh, everything on 12 o'clock order. Oh, good man. So, that, easy peasy. Yeah. Uh, explain the wiring. This is just the vintage wiring. So, basically... Uh, tone works there. Doesn't work there. That works there in a second. Down here is just full wax straight through, right? Yeah. Volume, volume works, right? Volume works. Yeah. Work, none volume of, works. None None of the tone controls. I can't speak. All of the W's and the V's, man. That's uh, not good for me. But it's a wonderful guitar. Do you wanna? You, you. That's your guitar. Why don't you play a bit on this, and I hand you this over. Yeah, I'm and then say, you be can then to see what see, the. Now I have. Should we blindfold you up? <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what I have done hey, on this. Hey, Tommy. I mean, again, <laughs> I've. I feel like a woman. I feel now and have done for the last four or five years slightly uh, embarrassed person. and full of regret about this, but I decided to relic this. So this was originally... Uh, like this? No, not quite. So originally it had all the patina in it that... Yeah. that uh, cracks. Uh, the cracks and stuff, but it didn't have any damage or fretboard wear or anything. And I just had this sitting in a case and I never played it, which actually I suppose in fairness is, is maybe the upside of doing it. Yeah. And I never played it because it always felt too new like and this. sticky and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So one day I went to our guitar tech team and I was like, just help me relic it. And it started off just getting the wool on the back of there. And that's probably the bit I don't regret. If you look on the back. Yeah, that looks great. I've got all the goop off the back and it does feel nicer to play. I do feel like this all looks very contrived, especially up here where I never play. Yeah, <laughs> um, you yeah this all looks very that. contrived because yeah. I, I don't... But and the damage on the body, we didn't really go too over the top, but oh, I, I right. do regret most of it on here. But I'll know the difference between that and that immediately just because there's yeah, no yeah. lacquer left on the yeah. back of this neck. But we can certainly, from a tone point of view... Um, Ricky Stanicki. So, and I have got the five-way switch on here, which yeah. I... And it, again, it's not as bass, you know, the necks on these guitars are not as baseball as some sort no. of myth would no, leave exactly you to believe. This is sticky um, as well, but that's your fingers. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just think this sounds like it's got newer strings on yeah. it. It is a little bit brighter than a, than a, if you went for a later Strat or a more modern yeah. Strat. It's a great story about oh, why classic. guitar players didn't want the tone control on here. Again, it all goes back to um, the recording equipment that they had in those days. And, and unless you had that kind mm -hmm. of like super bright back pickup, like, whoa, you, the, you just didn't, nobody could hear you basically in the, on, the, on, the, on the recording. Um, I like these little... Oh, excuse me, my guitar's lighter. I mean, yeah. I'm guessing if you go, you know, custom shop and master built, you're going to get little things like that better. It's more mellow, that. I don't know when I last restrung this, but it'd be months ago. So. But it's, it's just great to play. There we go. I do like this. Well, there we are. Mm. 70 years. What are we going to look like when we get to our 70th anniversaries, Pete? I won't look Substantially like... Substantially... I, I look like full of, uh, <laughs> full of uh, worms. More like this than that, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for watching. 
check out the listings on our site. They'll be in the description below. Or pop into the store and have a strum yourself. Yeah, strum away. Yes, absolutely. Right, on see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.